Hi, in this session I'm going to tell you something about drawings. Drawings means 2D drawings. Till now we have learned about 3D CAD diagrams. Now let's see how 2D drawings will work. For this we'll open some of the parts which we have already made. Let's say I want to open a pulley which I have already made. So I will double click this thing and I can see a pulley so this pulley was made by me earlier in the earlier sessions now we'll minimize this okay and uh, I will open something and I'll open the drawing first of all okay now I have opened the drawing now it's written open documents pulley yes I want to open pulley we can also browse and open or else double click here look I have double clicked here and uh, now see what is happening this is my mouse and it contains a block look I have not pressed any button on the mouse or I have not kept anything hold on the mouse but when I move the mouse it moves along with it so I will keep over here and then I will click left click left click look this is the top view of the pulley now look this will be the front view when I again move my mouse this moves with me no need to do anything when I move on the right hand side it gives a right hand side view when I move on the 45 degree angle it shows the isometric view and on over here it shows the front view so I will left click over here okay again I will left click I will click over here some yes over here and over here yes so this is done now again it repeats but I don't want to make any kind of repetition so I'll make it okay okay so this is front view top view isometric view and side view so these are four different views in the drawing now let's see uh, what we can do with this thing we can add, add some dimension to it smart dimension yes we'll add some smart dimension so left click and start adding smart dimension year to year zoom in and here now when I click both these lines top and bottom it shows it is 43 you know it shows 43 but uh, have you seen that moon I'll show that moon again I'll click over here now we'll show you the moon again left click look you can see the moon over here left now you can see the moon look this is the moon on the left hand side it goes over here on the right hand side if you come it will go over here and it automatically adjusts the spacing look this time I will make it on the left hand side click now I will see this ok look the difference this was done manually and this is done with that moon there were two moons left moon and right moon so I selected the left moon and the numbers are outside the arrows and over here I made it inside the numbers are inside now what we can do is we can also click here and change it look so this is this thing is flexible we can also decrease the distance same with this look look over here also <coughs> anywhere anywhere again smart dimensions on this on this again there are two moons look there are two moons and make it over here and again it adjusts the distance look it has automatically adjusted distance between these two okay look this was here but when I made this what happened is this went far away 43 was was went far away now this is about some features about smart dimensions again this this 
and this it shows here I'll show you some radius also this this is the radius look wherever you want to place 9.94 over here also I will select what will be the radius the same it will be same somewhere here okay so this is about the uh, dimensions now let's see I will show you one options of uh, dimensions for that we'll go to tool and options tool options okay now document properties and dimensions we'll open this and we'll see linear dimensions here you what you can see is look this is 20 is inside this is a linear there are different kind of dimensions we'll click over here look what happens is there are three different types of dimensions in which numbers are in center and arrows are outside the lines here look the type of dimensions and over here this number you can see this box this box remains the same even if the part is twisted so what we see here is what kind of dimensions we see it's a linear dimensions which means this are this dimensions look here there are two different arrows two different arrows and there is a single line so I will change the type of dimensions now I want this half sorry half half so I will make it ok I will make it I need to make it okay this is okay now see there are two it has changed two arrows and this numbers two arrows and this numbers earlier it was something like this but now it's like this it has changed two arrows and numbers so these are called as a type of different kinds of dimensions what you want to use it you can use accordingly and uh, now uh, I will show you something first of all I will delete these dimensions delete 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 and delete I will show you something something very different is I will show you hmm pulley this is the pulley which we made so what happens with this pulley is like there is one thing like whatever you do with this pulley it gets reflected on the 2D drawing for example I will draw a hole so for that we will go to hole wizard left click and say I want to draw this one this is countersink so I want to draw countersink on this face so countersink and let's say again we'll click here something is happening click here we'll click here I don't want two holes I want only one countersink and uh, okay you must select a point on the face to locate the hole okay I'll select this point look I have selected this point and okay so the countersink hole is made once this is made what I will do is I will go to 2d drawing look I went to 2d drawing and whatever changes I do there it's reflected so how it is reflected is this is done okay and if it is not showing then we need to do something what we need to do is very simple file 
make drawing from part okay look here this is bottom you need to drag it drag it over here hmm. now see now see our hole has been reflected done this was the hole which was being reflected so this is the thing the earlier sheet in which there was no reflection of the hole was this one and what we do is we close this thing and it shows whether we receive because there were some modifications we can do yes save all and then we can uh, see the modifications later on but for time being we will work only on this sheet so this is about that hole now what to do we'll see the smart dimensions and in the smart dimensions apart from the smart dimensions there are many things horizontal dimension vertical baseline ordinate horizontal ordinate, vertical ordinate so let's see we'll work something with vertical ordinate dimensions how this thing works and why we need this okay so we'll select this thing vertical so we can't make vertical from here so escape will make vertical from here sorry again we need to select it vertical ordinate system why vertical is used I will tell you later first click here this is 0 0 will take us re base reference so this is base again we'll click here look again we'll click here again we'll click here look now see what is this this is taken as 0 now the distance between 0 and this point is 12.40 now this is 31.49 which means the distance between this and this is 31 the reference is 0 this is the base and it is 0 again the distance between this and this last is 43.88 so 43.88 is not the distance between this and this it's a distance between this line and this line first to last now here you know there are arrows and everything so we'll clear these arrows by going to leaders and then untick ordinate chain it goes away okay look this type of dimensioning system is used where you know sm uh, smart dimensions create a lot of problems because this is much easier and much simpler whereas in smart dimensions there are many things and uh, it may look a little bit messy so this is some type of clean dimensions this is about what you say is vertical dimensions now similarly horizontal dimensions so this is horizontal one this is one this is again two three four sorry four this is four and it goes like this so again it shows the distance and everything again leaders and ordinate chain I don't want these arrows I don't find it good so this was about the dimensioning now there are a few more things there is something called chamfer chamfer dimensions but there are no chamfers over here so we'll add chamfer so we'll go to the drawing and I will add some chamfer click here chamfer this edge I don't want 10 I want 4 enter ok look I have made a chamfer now once the chamfer is made we'll go to this thing drawing now when you go to this drawing it shows some drawing sheets are out of date do you want to update them yes 
once you do yes look you can see the chamfer now you can see the chamfer so this is how your drawings are being updated automatically and uh, now for this chamfer you use smart dimensions the down arrow and then chamfer dimensions click here on this chamfer and one more click on X axis very important very and then click here now see what you can see the angle of the chamfer is 45 degrees and the size is 4 size of the chamfer is 4 make it ok so this shows how uh, chamfer dimension is being made so using smart dimensions we can also use look the circle dimension the diameter of the circle so this is how the different dimension works and this was everything about dimensioning thank you